Okay, this is um, the Azar 9 review, um, recording number 5. Okay, we're on quiz number 14, using superlatives. Okay, and the superlative, we're talking about the EST, um, like smart, one syllable word, the smartest okay and then delicious um, that is a three syllable word so we cannot use EST we have to use most and don't forget the the most delicious okay so we have EST or we have most and you have to have the please do not forget the for both of these okay and then for one syllable words you do est um and for two three and above you do most but if it's something like happy happy is two syllables okay but happy ends in y and so we would get rid of that Y and change Y to I E S T, the happiest. Okay, and I think you guys remember this. It's not too difficult for you. But let's take a look at. So these were smart, delicious, and happy um, were all um, adjectives before we changed them. Now they're comparatives, but. Uh, the superlatives rather, but they were adjectives. Okay, now let's look at an adverb like um, quickly. Okay, that's an adverb, and yes, this is two syllables. However, unlike adjectives with two syllables, adverbs with two syllables do not change y to i. Don't don't do that. If it is an adverb, like quickly is. Um, and to remind you, an adverb is a word that describes a verb. It answers the question, how? Then we would follow this model, and it would be most. Okay, hold on. Okay, and don't forget the. So that would be the most quickly. Okay, so we're doing that. And um, we can just look at this part. We've got warm. Warm is an adjective. It's one syllable. So we're going to do the warmest. Okay. And we've got fast. Fast is one syllable. The fastest. And we've got beautiful. Beautiful is three syllables. So that's going to be the most beautiful. Okay. Now, we also need to use these prepositions in, of, or ever. Okay. Now, ever is most often going to be used with the perfect tenses. Okay. Um, and then in and of, in is um, in a place, and of is like a group. Okay, so we've got a place here, the warmest room in our house. And then we've got our class. Well, our class is a group. Heidi is the fastest at uh, texting and typing. Of our class or inner class? Um, I would say in our class. Um, let's see. Heidi's the fastest at texting and typing of our class. If, okay, so our class is not a group of people. If it was our classmates, classmates, then that would be of, of our classmates. 
but it's not classmate. So um, I would I would use in. Okay, and then we have all. Okay, now when we have all, that means we're comparing to everything. And whenever we have all, we're going to use of. The most beautiful voice of all. Okay, here, what do we have? We have the perfect. And what did I tell you to use with the perfect? Use ever. Okay, and then bad, we need the superlative. And if you remember, bad is irregular. And so that's going to be the worst. Okay. Now the comparative is worse. But the superlative, so that's S-E. The superlative is worst, S-T. Make sure that you're careful about that. Okay, let's um, do the superlatives first and then look at the uh, prepositions after. Okay, so Siberia is um, one of the cold. Oops, I don't know what just happened. Okay, cold is one syllable, so we're using EST. Um, one of the coldest places. I want you to notice something here. We have, um, uh, let me use a different color, let me use blue. We've got one of the coldest places. Okay, and what I want you to notice about this is you've got one of. Whenever we have one of, this noun right here has to be plural. Please remember that in everything that you do. Okay. Um, then my ears hurt. That was noisy. Okay, so noisy is two syllables. It's an adjective. And it ends in Y. So Y changes to I and then EST. So that was the noisiest concert. Then we have hard. Okay, hard is one syllable, so it's going to be EST the hardest. Then we have nice. Nice is one syllable. The nicest. Then we have confident, which is three syllables. Okay, but this time we're not using the more most. We are going to do the opposite. Okay, so we need the superlative form of less instead of more. Okay, so that's going to be the least, L-E-A-S-T, confident. Okay, and then we've got lazy, that's two syllables, it's an adjective, and it ends in Y. So Y changes to I-E-S-T, the laziest. Okay, and we have another adjective, two, adjective, and this one also ends in Y. So the luckiest. Okay. Now we have the laziest and the luckiest right next to each other. The only thing that's separating them is and. Because they're so close, you do not have to have the second the. The first one is good enough. But I won't count it wrong if you have that. It's just a lot of times we drop that because they're so close to each other. We don't need to have it two times. Okay. Now let's go back to the prepositions in, of, and ever. Okay, here we've got the perfect. So which one are we going to use? That's right, ever. Um, here we've got I felt. That's perfect. Ever. Okay. 
and then um, here we've got the world and here we've got town these are places so place in the world and place in town and then we've got all and all and we're going to use of the hardest of all and here we've got all and we've got of and uh, notice it's the first word I don't know why it being the first word bothers some students but starting this of all the people in our class there's really no problem with putting that at the beginning okay now you see there's a there's a comma there um, and the comma means that we put something in the beginning that is not normally in the beginning so the normal sentence would be Klaus is the laziest and luckiest of all the people in our class and we just took of all the people in our class and we moved it to the front and we put a comma and you can do that that's no problem it is correct okay and uh, moving on to the same similar different like alike and the prepositions that go with them well let's look at the chart here so we've got same similar different like and alike well first um, let's look at the prepositions that can go with these okay so same as similar to different from both like and alike do not have a preposition that follows it okay so if we're using uh, these words with a noun it would be the same car a similar car a different car um looks like a car and we cannot use alike here so these are actually we're using them with a noun but these words are functioning as adjectives okay now we're using this let me separate these two okay so what's happening with this group we are putting these words in the middle okay and when I say in the middle I mean between A and B we're putting them in the middle okay and then here with A and B we're putting them at the end we have A and B and we're putting them at the end okay so when I say middle and end I'm talking middle between A and B and after both A and B okay so when they're in the middle we have to use the prepositions for the middle group so for the same it's going to be the same as similar is similar to different is different from and like is just going to be like and remember that alike cannot be used in the middle between A and B never okay and then if we are using uh, these words at the end we have A and B before A and B together as a subject are the same the verb phrase and the same um, A and B are similar A and B are different A and B are alike and let's remember that you cannot use like at the end you can only use it in the middle okay and then let's look at how it's used as an adverb um, let me use the verb um, drive okay so a drives a drives the same as B a drives similarly to B a drives differently from B a drives like B 
A and B drive alike. Okay, because like only goes in the middle and alike only goes at the end. Okay, so now let's look at these. Okay, my three-year-old son thinks that donkeys look similar, similar to zebras. Donkeys is A, zebras is B. This is in the middle. He says, they look blank. Okay, when we have they, they means donkeys and zebras. That's they. So they is A and B together. So this is the end. Now remember, when I said the end, I mean after both A and B. I did not mean that the sentence has to end. The sentence does not have to end. But we're talking about its position with A and B. A and B are finished. So, um, this is the end, and that would be a like. Okay? Sometimes Sultan looks blank. He's not listening. Okay, so he's not listening is subject and a verb phrase. And so this would be like a noun comes after. A sentence acts like a noun in a comparative. Okay, so looks like. My new house is similar my old house. New house is A, old house is B, similar to. Fortunately, the appliances are different blank my old ones. Okay, so this is A and this is B, different from. A panda is similar blank a bear. This is A, this is B, similar to. But they are not the same. Okay, they is A and B. Okay, so this is at the end, and when we have same at the end, there's nothing. Is the town where you grew up much different blank this city? Okay, so the town where you grew up. Oops. So this is an adjective clause. This is A together with this, and this is B, so this is in the middle, different from. Okay, the size of this town is the same blank my hometown. So we have this town A, my hometown B, the same as, but the architecture is very different. Okay, this is at the end. We have nothing. Okay, then Toshi was much different, blank the description people gave me. So Toshi is A, and the description is B, and then this is the adjective clause. Um, so this is in the middle, different from. People say my sister and I are similar, blank each other. Okay, this is special case. Look at this. Okay, so we have my sister and I and each other. Okay, so my sister is A and I is B. So you might think this is at the end and we would have nothing. Well, that would be true, but we have each other. And each other is a and B again. So we have A and B both before and after. And when we do that, that means that this is now in the middle. So similar to. But we don't think we are similar at all. Okay. Um, we have A and B here. And at all is not important. That's just like an adverb. So here we have nothing. We don't have any A or B over here. Okay, I hope you understood that. Okay, and let's continue with uh, the same theme. Um, but we're using a whole bunch of different things here. Okay, so we're mixing them up. Um, we've got... We've got... Um, as, oops, as, adjective, as, 
and then we have the same, similar, different, like, and then we've got um, the normal comparison, like bigger than, the biggest, and then we've got a like. Okay. Um, as I told you in class, when you have five objects, what you want to do is find out which two are the same first. And if we look here, we can see that A and E are the same. If they're the same, they are not similar. They're the same. They are not different. They're the same. Okay, so let's just use the same for those. And then this one is um, the biggest, right? And this A and E are the, the smallest. Uh, C is the fattest or the widest. Okay, so tree A, blank height as tree B. Be careful here. This is a noun. Okay, this is a noun. So tree A, we have A and E. Okay, so tree A, don't forget the verb, is the same. Okay, and this is a noun. So if if we had no noun here, then we could put as, but um, we've already got as. We have as right there. So please be careful with this. Tree A is the same height. Let's look at that with the noun again. Okay, so when we have the noun, it's just the same noun. Okay, tree A is the same height as tree E. Tree A and E are the same height. Okay, and then some of my students before have used um, something else. Tree and A and E have the same height. Tree A and E have the same. Okay, so uh, I'm sorry, forgive me there. Let me get rid of that. Tree A has the same height. Okay. Number two. Tree C. No other tree is wide. Okay. So B and D. We're comparing to B and D. And um, so tree C is wider than. Here we can't have widest because we have two specific and they're not everything. Tree D is of all. So we need a superlative. The tallest. Okay, we have of all. I don't know what's happening here. Um, tree C is the widest of all. Trees A and E, and then we have of all, are the shortest of all. Okay, tree B is not as tall as tree. Okay, so we need one that's taller, and only two of them could be possible either C or D, so either one is, is correct, so just pick one, doesn't matter which one you pick. And tree C is not as short as tree, okay, this is tree C, and there are three possible answers, A, B, or E, so you just choose one of them, A, B, or E, okay, but tree E is blank tree A, okay, Tree E is as tall as, because they're the same, right? And as, so as, adjective, as means A equals B. Okay, now tree B to tree D. Okay, so we need to, now all of these look similar, right? So, um, 
and we have two there. So there's only one word that we can use. Which one has two after it? Similar has two. This can only be similar. Okay, tree C is blank, tree B and tree D. We have from, so we can only use different. Now let me talk about similar and different for a second. All of these trees look similar, right? Um, and it's, it really depends on your perspective. So some people might say tree C and tree D are different, and some people might say they're similar. Both are correct. It really depends on your perspective. So um, when we say similar, we're talking about the things that look alike. And when we say different, we're focusing on the things that look different. Okay, now we're talking about all the figures. Okay, so let's look at the possibilities. We have the same, similar, different, like, and alike. Okay, now um, we cannot use the same because A and E are the same, but um, B, C, and D are not the same as A and E, so we cannot use the same. Let's try similar. Are they all similar? Yes. Together as a group, they're all similar. So all of the, figure, of the figures are similar to each other. Okay? And let's see what else we've got. Okay, and then um, different. Are all the trees different? No, they are not, because A and E are the same, so we cannot use different. Different is not possible. Um, can we use like? Well, like can only go in the middle. Okay, so here we have all, and here we have all. So that is in the middle. So all the figures are like each other. Okay, and can we use alike? No, we cannot, because alike only goes at the end. So you have a choice here. You can say all of the figures are similar to each other, or all of the figures are like each other. And since I haven't used like, I would like you to use like. Okay. Trees A, B, and C, A, B, C, and E are blank D. Well, D is the shortest, right? So are shorter than tree D. Trees B, C, and D are blank trees A and E. Taller them. Okay, again, I don't think that this is very hard. I think the thing is that before you concentrate a little bit on this, a little bit on that, now you need to be able to mix them all together and use them correctly. So you need to be careful and think about what each of them means and how we use them. Okay, um, I'm going to end right here, and we'll continue with the next recording.